What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Melo. I hope everyone had a happy and safe new year. Welcome to the first video of 2023 on Black Man Thoughts. Let's get to it. Now, what is going on with the Tiki Talk app? Is it just me or is everyone trying to do ASMR? And when I say everybody, I do mean everybody. Now, I'm not knocking nobody's hustle, but it's a little strange that all these ASMRs have popped up out of nowhere. And half the time, I can't tell if they're joking or if they're being serious. TikTok for me just doesn't hit like it used to. I think it definitely hit its peak during the Rona days. You know, when everyone was inside and was looking for some type of connection. And I've tried to get into the groove. You know, I've posted my fair share of videos, but it's just not my cup of tea overall. TikTok is honestly just one big copy and paste app with no originality. It's all about who can recreate a video and get the most likes. And speaking of likes, let's talk about how the math just ain't mathing. How is it that people with literally millions of likes, hundreds of thousands of followers, struggle to have even 50 people on their live at once? Here's what I'm talking about. 70,000 followers, 11.7 million likes, and only 13 people on their live. 141,000 followers, 4.5 million likes, and only 17 people on their live. Here's another one. 465,000 followers, 8.7 million likes, and only 30 people on their live. Do you guys see what I mean? And the list just goes on and on. What I've come to learn is that TikTok is not what it seems like at all. The number of likes and followers does not translate to actual support on that platform. The other day I was scrolling and I saw something that really shocked me. And when I tell y'all I was speechless, I was speechless. Now before I play this video, this is in no way, shape, or form meant to slander this creator. And I don't wish for anyone else to slander them either. Because you truly never know what a person is going through. This is to bring awareness that TikTok is just not what it seems. Check this video out. Hey y'all. Um, hi. I don't do this at all, but this is your boss and CEO. My bills has been affected. <laughs> um, most of you probably know that I'm a full-time influencer, right? And um, I have dreams or whatever. But um, this month, December, has been truly a little tough for me. Uh, I haven't booked any work in promos or stuff like that. And um, I don't have a side hustle or anything like that. As at the moment, because I had gotten sick in October with the... Uh, with the uh, ear infection and Bell's palsy and stuff, so I wasn't able to work. And um, this month has really caught up to me in December and I'm asking for your support. Um, I'm coming out to my platforms, asking for your help. Um, for basically, I don't wanna go into my rent to sacrifice my rent for food and for, you know, just necessarily things for the month to get by. So if you guys can help, I appreciate your help. Thank you. Now, I'm sure many of you have seen their videos before, a popular one being this one. Hi, welcome to Panera Bread. Hey, how are you? How are you? Is Phil here? Yeah. I'll Wonderful. Uh, I have a membership. I usually get, I'm Boston CEO. Are you new? Uh, yes. How'd you know? Wonderful. Well, the re well, what you, you being new, I need uh, everything precisely the way I detail, tell you. Uh, you need to start tapping on the stream, please. You didn't tell I would me like to wanted. have, uh, excuse me? You didn't tell me what you wanted. I I'm telling you now, you dear. So Let's, help me. please, I guess Phil them here hired someone with a little smart mouth. They <laughs> will, they will get rid of you soon here, honey. I know the managers. And they'll cancel your membership. <laughs> excuse me, honey. Let's go ahead and just do this yeah. order. Because I don't want your bills to be affected. Uh, let me go ahead and get the broccoli soup bowl. What else? Ah, uh, I want all of that fresh. Uh, tell them that Boston CEO is here. Let me get all of that fresh, if you don't mind. Um, it should be a button be on the stream to t uh, type on that so they do know that Boston CEO is here. And Ma I work here. I know. Wonderful. Wonderful. Mm. So go ahead with the order. You have something in your teeth. Are you eating on ship? I don't think you're supposed to be eating while customers are present. <laughs> you uh, have some. Is that broccoli and the cheddar soup? How is it? You can't even afford what I have in my teeth. Uh, honey, Please you just wasted your floor. breath on that line right there. <laughs> I'm Boston CEO. Hey, CEO. How uh, are you? Phil, why is she? She has something in her teeth. I don't think. I think she's eating on oh. ship. 
They're a very funny person. And for someone who has 361,000 followers and 10 million likes, I personally assume they have some sort of financial stability. But again, you never know what a person is going through. Another thing that really shocked and surprised me as well is that Tokyo Tony, Black China's mom, DoorDashes. Now don't get me wrong, I think DoorDash is very useful. I mean, I use it time to time, especially when I'm looking to make a little extra cash. I mean, it definitely comes in handy. But again, I just assumed she has some sort of financial stability as well, especially after having her own TV show. And I mean, being Black China's mom. I think this is what happens when people try to put on a facade and make things out to be what they're not. I'll be the first one to say, I don't have it all together. I'm young and I'm still figuring out life and myself. But I just wish more people were able to be more transparent about these things as well and not hide behind their followers and likes. But I think this also begs a bigger question. Will TikTok be around in the next five or so years? Do you all remember Vine? Do it for the Vine. Vine was the hottest thing at one point and everyone seemed to love it. Real quick, can you think of and name five people that were popular on Vine? I know I can. In present day, it is but a myth of what was. I think TikTok could very well be the next big thing to just blow out. Creators just seem like they're not being paid enough. And I think that could be a problem in the future. And not to mention the downright disrespect and blatant discrimination black creators have to face on TikTok. In 2022, TikTok's top earners were released and let's just say black people were far and scarce on that list. In fact, the only black creator that was on that list was a creator by the name of KB Lane who surprisingly topped the list at number two. Go ahead, black man. Mm-hmm. Now that's what I'm talking about. I love black people. Now, everyone's journey is different, and I never tell anyone to give up on their dreams. But if those TikTokers were smart, they would be branching out and looking for other streams of income, especially those black creators. TikTok just doesn't pay their worth. And it's unfortunate. Black creators definitely come up with all the popular dance moves and keep that app going. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see where TikTok stands in the next five or so years. Many apps have come and gone and it'll be interesting to see if TikTok stands the test of time. If you enjoyed this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up or thumbs down as that's okay too. Go ahead and drop a comment down below and let me know your thoughts on this video. What do you think about TikTok? Do you see it being around in the next five to 10 years? And as always, if you're not already, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel and make sure to hit that post notification bell so you don't miss out on any videos as I do upload them weekly. I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and I'll catch you all on the next video.